But I, like I said, every Thursday, I have to come, it, it, well, you'll see in a bit, it'll take all that off. Mm -hmm. And then they clean it. Mm -hmm. Check that where it's gone in there, not, not bunged up. Sometimes it yeah. leaks a little bit. Mm. Um, cleans it, puts an oil on. Right. And then that'll last me. Because I wanted to go back to work. Yeah, yeah. Only alternative were have nurses come. Yeah. It's seven days a week. I thought if I could do it myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not tied to house. Yeah. I've got more freedom to do. Go to work. Mm. I could come up and do it when I've come home from work. Do it then. So does it take up quite a lot of time of your day then? Yeah, because they, they come at eleven o'clock. Right. In the morning. Yeah. And it's it used to be an hour and a half. Uh, yeah. And then they do they have to do the right up at mine. Yeah. While they're here. Yeah. Then you have to do the dressing on me. So I don't like the idea of taking them but yeah. I feel like it's my only outlet to really. Yeah. It, it, it's no I'm a bit niffed that it's taking so long yeah. for them to find the right. Because at first he said this had been for six weeks. Yeah, and I'd be having a nurse for six weeks. Yeah. I've been off work now three months. Yeah. yeah. And that's the annoying part. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm more like a. I feel like I'm going back, backwards. Because until we were told we've got to come straight to hospital. Yeah. All this paperwork, tell them you need a, a pacemaker and this yeah. defibrillator thing, whatever it is. Yeah. And I still haven't had it fitted. Oh, really? Because then I had collapsed at work. Yeah. The paramedics took me to Chesterfield Hospital. Yeah. Uh, and my gallbladder oh, okay. was infected. Yeah. I didn't know nothing about me, but I didn't even know what my gallbladder was. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know I got one. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and then I was in there two weeks. Said I was that bad infection. I went back on into her to see him, weren't I? Mm. Then it messed my kidneys up. Yeah. Then I'd have kidney dialysis. Because yeah. it did something to my kidneys. Oh my god. So I was in there two weeks. Yeah. Well, since that, I've come back here to have my foot on. Yeah. Still trying to get this an antibiotic. Cure me for. Mm. Went for a pre-op for my gallbladder because he said it was six weeks. Mm. She says, "What do you call that? Them that knock you out. Mm. Mm. Man. We'll get we'll get stuff to put you to sleep. An ethicist. Yeah. She yeah. come to see me. She says we can't do your gallbladder until you've had your pacemaker fitted." Because I've got heart failure. Yeah. And what they're saying is, if I was wrong with an operation, this pacemaker, I want my heart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it goes wrong. Mm -hmm. so, not so that it's going to go wrong, but if it does. Yeah. So we want that pacemaker fitted before we can do that. Went to see cardiology, and he says, we can't look pacemaker until you get that sorted. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just hoping and praying this new yeah. antibiotic that they're doing there. We'll sort it out. When you we'll sort it out and we can yeah. crack on. Yeah. yeah. Wow, so you've been in the wars. You've got so many different things. Money for the scrap yard, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, what There's a lot of side effects in yeah. antibiotics at all. I found that. Yeah. Cause I thought that's what that were when I collapsed at work. 
Because I've got the symptoms, I, I would have been sick um, yeah. off my food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said it could be antibiotics. I went on tablets then. Right. I went on this trip. Mm. 